All right, let's take this to our group chat with Megan Wright, ABC's Will Gans, and ABC News contributor, Sirius XM radio host, Mike Muse. Megan, one of the topics that you tackle in this impact is the evolution of reality TV. So when you look back at when MTV's real world first launched, you know, how mm -hmm. have things changed in the last 30 years to get us where we are right now? I mean, everyone is obsessed with what's happening right now. Listen, so much has gone on. It is literally almost impossible for me to name every show and how we get here. But again, to your point, Diane, if you want to talk about recent reality, it really started with Real World. The first one in 1992, New York City, you know, a bunch of uh, people living in a house together um, as roommates. Who cannot relate to that? Now, whether you got introduced to Real World in that way or you were like me and you may have been homesick from school and you're watching Jerry Springer when you're not supposed to and Ricky Lake, you can't forget that that is also a form of reality, right? Then we have our competition shows, you know, uh, MTV all also, you have road rules, then you move on to like Survivor and you have Amazing Race. And then we cannot forget about the Osbournes, okay? That was like, I believe, like one of the first families that we got to watch. Why else would we have been able to see this rock star family and everything that was going on with them? So you go from the Osbournes to we're still trying to keep up with the Kardashians. But if you want to talk about the Bravo space, right and how we got to vanderpump rules you have to start with royal housewives of orange county that to me is the origin story because without real house of real housewives of orange county the original uh bravo part of the bravo universe there would be no vanderpump rules so it's just going to keep going and going and going <laughs> and going well last night was part one of the vanderpump uh, rules reunion and of course scandal this whole thing was front and center so how did that go down and how are people reacting i mean Twitter is popping off. TikTok is popping off still to this to this very moment. I was just checking my phone to, to make sure that I'm still caught up on what people are saying. First things first, people are saying that Ariana was rock solid. I mean, she has been through it, but she showed up and she was not holding back. She mm. was refusing to be victim blamed. You know, Andy was like, what was going on in your relationship that might have led to this? She's like, it doesn't matter what was going on in my relationship. He's the one that cheated. That's, that's where right. we're at. Number two, Raquel was sequestered away in a trailer 100 yards away from the actual reunion because she had filed a restraining order against Sheena. So they kept on cutting away to Raquel watching from afar and everyone was like, what are we seeing right here? And finally, it was James Kennedy's night to shine. I mean, he is now the quote unquote number one man since everybody's mad at the Toms. At one point he called Tom Sandoval a worm with a mustache. Some of the things he was saying, I mean, he has gone full meme status this morning. Now, Mike, since this scandal came to light, Ariana Maddox, the, the person in this situation who was cheated on, she's starred in commercials, she's got campaigns, she's got a partnership with Bloomingdale. So I want to talk about the business side of things here. How has reality TV resolved from that aspect? It's changed tremendously. Uh, and Megan, in her package, and also too, she mentioned uh, Real World being the first one. I have to give a shout out to my co-host on Sirius XM, so in the morning, Heather B., uh, who was also too a rap pioneer and an icon, who is still in radio today, who is still doing film and television, but she has evolved her brand now to a lip gloss line with Billy Talks, and now she's going on the road tra traveling with partnership with the Hooters. And so this is what happens from reality stars, is that they're able to constantly evolve partner with brands in order to propel one, both brand identity and also to their personal evolution too as well. Reality TV translate now to actually big business. Uh, and Megan, given how lucrative this has become, how has that changed the way these shows are produced and how the people on them are incentivized to behave? How real is current reality TV? Well, it's very interesting because, you know, I don't want to give too much away of the latest Impact uh, episode that I did, so you make sure you check that out. But, you know, I talked to uh, reality stars who were still on reality TV and also some that are not. You know, everybody kind of explained to me when I asked them, like, is this really real? That it is, it's just sometimes certain scenarios will be set up for you to have certain conversations. But what I found very, very interesting was, you know, you have two sides of the coin. You have some people that are like, look, you know, I did these things and now I look back and I'm like, I don't want my life, you know, to be put out there based on what the editors and the producers decide should be visible. And then you have the other side, you know, that kind of say, I'm not Beyonce. 
You know, I'm not Angelina Jolie. Like, reality TV is my talent. So if I don't bring it, then I will not be on the show. Uh, Mike, how much does social media play into all of that in terms of what you're talking about with branding and monetizing and maybe trying to play up the drama a little bit? <laughs> yeah, I don't think reality TV is reality anymore. I think it's very scripted reality. <gasps> uh, <it's>, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to put it out there. I think it's all scripted. I think they are now doing things in order to get to the reunion, in order to make a moment on the reunion, in order for social media and Twitter, which Will said so eloquently, to create Twitter and to go viral and to have these conversations. So when they say, I them, just want to clear the air, they don't mean that? They don't mean that at all. They mean, <laughs> I want to increase the drama, so let me drop this bomb. Exactly. What they do is they want to get more followers, right? And so the more followers they get, the more they can change their rate that they can charge for brands for posting a brand on their Instagram and how much rate they can charge for showing up at a nightclub. And so they do all this scripted drama in order just to increase their fees for uh, what they call appearance fees, you know, at nightclubs, right? And how much they can charge per post. Now, Will, you did a piece looking into the psychology of it all. Why do we care? Well, initially, <laughs> gossip, you know, it's your brain saying, hey, pay attention to this so this doesn't happen to me. I don't want to be cheated on the way that Ariana was with Sandoval. And the parts of your brain that light up when you're gossiping or paying attention to celebrity gossip are the same parts of the brain that light up when people are doing drugs or drinking. It's a dopamine rush. And the dopamine rush is increased when you're doing it with other people. So if you're on Twitter watching all of this go down, the Sandoval go down, then you're going to get a greater dopamine rush. And it can become a addictive you know it's a it's a cycle it's like oh my god I can't believe that happened let me get another dopamine rush by seeing what Lala has to say about it or seeing what James Kennedy has to say about it so there's there's a lot of science there and it's actually very fascinating right in theory it makes us feel safer because we as humans are kind of tribal and so it makes you feel like you're part of the tribe so you're safe yeah so what I'm saying is we should always be talking about scandal gossip for everybody <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> <laughs> all right Megan Wright Will Gans Mike Muse thank you Thank you. And the full episode of Anatomy of a Scandal is now streaming on Hulu. New episodes drop every Thursday. Hi, everyone. George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.